Hollywood. That's good, we found it, holy Hollywood. Where any office boy or young mechanic can be a panic with just a good looking pan. And any shop girl can be a top girl if she pleases the tired businessman. Hooray for Hollywood! Hello, Hollywood! Welcome to this morning's Walk of Fame ceremony and a special shout out to our fans who are watching the live video stream courtesy of our media partner Variety. I'm Laron Gubler. We can cheer for Variety, certainly. I'm Laron Gubler, President and CEO of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, which is presenting this program. Today we honor a lady who has, who has had an amazing musical career and who has fans worldwide, many of whom are here today. Today we will present the 2,646 star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame to Carrie Underwood. So let me tell you a little about her and feel free to cheer for whatever you want. A native of Oklahoma, she was raved in Shakota, Oklahoma. And during, I know we've got a few Oklahomans here, so cheer. During her childhood, she sang at numerous local events and even auditioned for Capitol Records Nashville at the age of 14. Nothing came of it, and when she graduated from high school as the salutatorian, she chose not to pursue a singing career any further. However, in 2004, when an opportunity arose, she decided to audition for American Idol. And aren't we glad she did? Carrie Underwood emerged from the promise of her 2005 American Idol win to become a true superstar, spanning achievements in music, television, and film. A seven-time Grammy Award winner, she has amassed over 100 major honors, sold 64 million records worldwide, and recorded 26 number one singles, 13 of which she co-wrote. She has a catalog of songs that has been streamed more than 2.6 billion times worldwide. How about that? Now, Carrie released her eager, eagerly anticipated new album, Cry Pretty, on September the 14th. <laughs> Cry Pretty is her first studio album on Calp Capitol Records Nashville and marks the first time she has co-produced her own album. <laughs> the emotional, stylistic album was released to rave reviews and features nine songs co-written by Carrie, including the hit songs Cry Pretty and Love Wins. And in the spring of next year, Carrie will launch the Cry Pretty Tour 360, which will play 55 arenas across the U.S. and Canada. <laughs> Carrie is the first female artist to be twice named the Academy of Country Music's Entertainer of the Year. She is also the RIAA's highest certified country album artist to debut in this century. Carrie also holds, I think that deserves a little more applause than that, all right. She also holds the distinction of the highest album certification of any country artist to emerge since the year 2000 with the eight times multi-platinum success of her 2005 debut, Some Hearts. And this spring, she celebrated her 10th anniversary as a proud member of the Grand Ole Opry. Now, charity work has always been a priority for Carrie, and she has always used her platform to champion numerous causes about which she feels passionate. Among them, she and her husband, Mike Fisher, are ardent supporters of Danita's Children, an organization dedicated to providing a nurturing environment for children and families in Haiti. All right, and in 2009, she founded her own charity, the Cats Foundation, which stands for Shakota Animal Town and School Foundation. 
and it helps to improve Chicota, Oklahoma by assisting with causes, fulfilling needs, and providing services to her very own hometown. And so on that note, please help me welcome to the stage our honoree, Carrie Underwood. have you stand over here on this side. Okay. All right, well, because of the sun, we'll have her stand on the other side. So before you get to hear from Carrie, we have a few special speakers who've asked to say a few words about our honoree. Now, our first speaker today was a judge when Carrie won the fourth season of American Idol. He is currently a judge on the hit show, America's Got Talent airing on BC, in which we all saw the finals last night. We honored him with a Walk of Fame star only two weeks ago. So please welcome our new Walk of Famer, Simon Cowell, to the stage. Oh, I'm going to apologize to Carrie, first of all. We did have the end of a series last night. We had a rap party. I think you know where this is going. I have never felt so hungover in my life. So these are staying on. And if I start to mumble, you'll understand why. Um, I always think at moments like this, never overthink what you want to say. Just think what you're thinking in the moment. And as I, as I was literally 30 seconds ago, I was remembering that moment in 2004, St. Louis. Yep. <laughs> we were having the worst American Idol season I have ever had in my life. <laughs> to the point it was like, you know what, we might as well say goodbye now. The whole show was in what I call gray and white. It was nothing. And then this shy lady walks in and sings, I can't make you love me. And the show turned into full color at that point. That was the effect, Carrie, you had on me, the producers and the other judges that day. I think, I thought, we may have found a great artist here. Yeah. And we did. Yeah. And then we, then we go into the finals. And now there was a couple of nights where the hair went a bit crazy. Oh yeah. Right. But the singing wasn't crazy. The singing was actually unbelievable. And I think it was after you sang Alone where, where I made a prediction that you will become the best-selling Idol winner, um, which you are. Uh, <laughs> but I could never have anticipated actually how successful you've been, Carrie, and the way that you've done it. It is actually phenomenal. I mean, apart from being just a great artist, you're a role model. You are a very sweet person, like me. We both are... No, 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 not that I'm sweet. It's a lead on to something else. I was going to say, like me, we both love animals. <laughs> um, and it could not be more appropriate that a star is getting a start today. Uh, you not just, you, you had such an impact uh, on, on the show. You've had an impact on so many, I've had so many people over the years come up to me and say, I would love to be a 10th as successful as Carrie Underwood. Um, but to do that, you've got to have determination. You've got to have talent. Behind that smile, these are eyes of steel, trust me. And that is the sign of a winner. And that's what I always adored about you, Carrie. But you stayed back to your roots. Uh, you love your fans. Um, I actually couldn't feel more proud than what I'm saying at the moment to be here presenting you with this and to see all your accomplishments. And actually, you did it your way, literally. Carrie always had her own understanding. She always understood her audience. She writes, she produces, she sings. She's made a ton of money. And <laughs> I am so happy for you and i'm thrilled to be saying this uh carrie underwood i love you and you are a total total star thank you simon let me do a couple of introductions we want to now acknowledge the captain of lapd's hollywood division 
He's a great partner with the Chamber of Commerce working for a better Hollywood. Please acknowledge Captain Corey Palka back here. And we also want to acknowledge another Walk of Fame honoree from the past who's with us today, television producer Ken Ehrlich over here. Please wave. Thank you for being with us. Now our next speaker is a critically acclaimed singer, songwriter, guitarist, and entertainer whose talents have earned him numerous awards. He and Kerry will return to host the 52nd Annual CMA Awards, country music's biggest night on November the 14th on the ABC television network. This is their 11th year as co-hosts. Please welcome Brad Paisley. Hi everybody. I uh, I believe some things are just meant to be, and when you think back to this shy Oklahoma girl that walks out on American Idol, it's an amazing thing to think about how far she's come. No one could have possibly known how talented she was in in so many ways. It's it's one thing to have a great voice. It's another thing to captivate all of America on a TV show like that. But that's just the beginning for this amazing person. She goes out there and then can do things no one could have ever imagined. She not only goes into our format and starts having one hit record after another and is still having hit records. She goes from there to doing good works in this world and making sure that she's giving back between herself, Mike, her family, they live the kind of life all of us would be proud to live. Amen. She goes <laughs> She goes and represents country music worldwide now in a way that I think back, I remember my first trip to Europe as a as a music artist and I got into a taxi cab in in uh, London. And the, the, the driver who talked funny, like Simon, said, what do, you, what do you do? I'm being offensive now. But I said, oh, I'm a country music singer. He said, oh. And I said, do you like that? And he said, I don't know. I like Dolly Parton. Well, Carrie Underwood is really, in many ways, this generation's Dolly, the, the person that the world looks at as Miss Country Music. And I, I just don't think we could ask for a better ambassador, a better person, someone who I get the luxury and honor of standing next to every year and hosting an awards show. And by the way, that is one of the toughest things in the world to do. And how did this girl from Oklahoma immediately have what it took to do that as well? I don't think there's anything you can't do. And as this star sits here on this sidewalk. It not only represents an amazing star, but this is like the best of country music in concrete. And I'm so proud to be your friend, so proud of who you are as a person, all you've accomplished. I can't wait to see everything you do from here. And I, I just, I think of the artists that'll be in here recording in Capitol Records that are gonna walk out here one night drunk and throw up on the star of one of the most important artists we will ever have in our format. We love you, Carrie. Congratulations, it's much deserved. Thank you, Brad. Well, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce administers the Walk of Fame on behalf of the city of Los Angeles. These sidewalks actually belong to the city. And we are lucky to have an outstanding uh, city councilman who represents Hollywood and uh, the Walk of Fame on the city council. But more important today than that is that he also hails from Oklahoma. So please welcome the Honorable Mitch O'Farrell. Thank, Thank you so much, Laron. Um, as someone from Oklahoma, born and raised there, I am especially proud and honored to be here today to help celebrate Carrie Underwood. Yeah. 
for anyone else who's ever driven Highway 69 on the way to, well, I have family in Wagner, so I frequent that highway when I visit them. And you can see the Shakota signs, home of Carrie Underwood. Has anyone else seen that on the road? Okay, so we have a few people who have been there and done that. Uh, it's really such a pleasure. And here she is joining the likes of Garth Brooks, another Oklahoman, and many others, Bonnie Raitt. But also, how about being on par with the Beatles, right? Here at Historical Capitol Records. Well, what an honor it is for me to represent the 13th District on the Los Angeles City Council. As far as I know, the first Oklahoman to be on the Los Angeles City Council. And what a great honor that is. Uh, but also to represent Hollywood and the historic Walk of Fame and to get to work with the Chamber of Commerce that provides a wonderful space for fans across the world to gather and celebrate their favorite artist. Uh, and here we are, which will now be the permanent or a permanent home of the great talent, Carrie Underwood. So thank you, Chamber of Commerce. And with that, I congratulate a one-of-a-kind star and a true American Idol, Carrie Underwood. Since we first met you, it didn't take very long for you to become America's sweetheart. Over the years, your fans have only grown to love you more, and your star now shines brighter than ever. How fitting that you take your rightful place here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and in the shadow of Capitol Records alongside the other legends in this industry that I mentioned before and many others. So on behalf of the city of Los Angeles, we congratulate you not just for your talent and what you have done in your professional life, but for the charity work that you do on behalf of children and animals. How wonderful is that, that a star uses their power to give back. How about a big round of applause for that? With that, it is my great pleasure and honor to welcome Carrie Underwood to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Carrie, it's your turn to speak, but let me, by final way of introduction, say that we hereby declare this Carrie Underwood Day in Hollywood. How is this my life? Um, immediately she starts crying, so write, write that in, in all the articles. Um, <laughs> How does a girl from Shakota, Oklahoma end up with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? I will tell you how. <laughs> Belief. Um, I've been so blessed in my life to have so many people who have, crap, I'm crying. Um, so many people who have believed in me. I was so blessed to be born into an incredible family who's here today. My mom is crying too, yeah. And, uh, and not only just were they an incredible family, but they were incredibly encouraging. My mom and dad would uh, <clears throat> take me to talent shows and want me to sing everywhere, even sometimes when I didn't want to. They bought me this big old like used um, DJ board with all the knobs on it and these giant speakers that I'm pretty sure are still at their house someplace because dad won't let mom get rid of them. Um, and I would practice. I would have my, my cassette tapes and I would practice and they would always ask me, you know, did you practice? Which they knew I did because we lived in a tiny house and they could hear me. Um, but driving me to places, taking me to sing places, just being incredibly encouraging, there was belief there. 
And as I got a little older and reality set in, you just don't know, how is this possible? How does anything like this actually happen to a girl like me? So I try out for American Idol. <laughs> and there was belief there. And I had judges who believed in me from the beginning. And I had people voting for me that believed in me the whole way through. <laughs> and I met somebody who believed in me more than I could have ever believed in myself. And still to this day, she believes in me more than I could ever believe in myself. And you've been there forever. From that first moment, making me better. And you do more than I ever could. And you make all of this happen. Thank you. And there's a whole other team behind me too. I can't thank everybody or else I would just forget people and be so mad at myself. But there's belief there. And I believe in you too. And then I met an incredible man, Mike, who thinks I'm so much better than I actually am in every way. Thank you for believing in me as a human, as a wife, as a mom, and supporting me through all of this. He believes in me. And we had another little man that believes in me too. Isaiah Michael, I love you so much. You're the best thing we ever did. The best thing. I love you. And I'm proud of you. And I believe in you too. So thank you to all the people that I work with, all my family at Capitol. It's so cool that I have a star outside of Capitol. I think my mascara is running. <laughs> but this is absolutely amazing and a dream come true. Thank you for believing in me, fans, family, friends, the incredible people that I get to work with. That's how this happens, belief. So believe in people, believe in yourselves, and um, just thank you. I Thank you. I don't even know what else to say. I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> All right. Shall we unveil the star? Yes. Let's do it. Yeah, that's sun. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Trust me. Brad. Right here, Brad. Anna. 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 Carrie, right here, Carrie. Down a little bit, Brad. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, right there. Perfect, Brad. Thank you, Brad. There we go. Simon, over here. Simon. Simon. Right here, Can you get all three of you in the center? Anna? Anna, can we get one more in the middle? We need them here. All three of you right down center. Carrie, come this way a little bit. Carrie, I'm sorry. We just want to make sure the sun doesn't get Everybody right here. Look at all, all of you right here in the corner. Brad, lean in there. Simon. There you go. And 
Guys, come this way a little bit. Simon, this way. Simon, Carrie. Simon, right here. And guys, right in the middle here, please. Simon, Carrie, right here. Simon, Simon, Carrie. And Kelly, can you look down this way one time? And Simon, also. Mr. Underwood. Mr. Underwood. Oh my God. Simon Perry, right here. Okay, let's we'll start over here. Lauren, go with the shot, though. Yeah. So much better. Anna, we, we just can't get the picture at the bar. Right, straight ahead. Perry, right down the middle. Perry, right down the middle. Okay. Anna, you're in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone right this way, Carrie. Background. Anna, Everyone in the background. There we go. Right here. Brad. Carrie, right here, please. Anna. Carrie, right here. Brad and Carrie in the second place. Brad, Carrie, right here, straight ahead. Carrie, Brad. Can we get you in the corner? Brad and Carrie, one more in the middle. In the shade, Terry, you can do it right here. A little bit more that way, a little bit right there, perfect. Can we take the back out? Can we get the back All right, guys, let's get the third of the back right, my God. Carrie, this way, please. Hannah. Carrie, right down the middle here. Carrie, straight ahead, Carrie. Carrie, Miss Underwood, straight ahead, please. Congratulations. Carrie. Carrie, right in the middle here, please. Carrie, right here, please. Carrie, can we get center ball? Anna, can we get center ball? Carrie, can we get you in the corner? Carrie. Carrie in the corner. Carrie, one more down the middle here, please. Carrie, Miss Underwood, straight ahead, please. Miss Underwood, one more here, please. Carrie, right here. Carrie. Carrie, right here. Carrie, straight ahead. No, no, no. Cut. Carrie, yeah. A little bit more, a little bit more. A little bit more, guys, this way. This way together, everyone. Keep coming over, Carrie. Carrie, right here. Carrie, together. In the corner, please. Kathy, let us get it. This, can you guys go this way, Anna? Have to go that way. The sun's on. It's not going to be a good shot. 
You're not getting the shot, trust me. It's terrible. You're not going to get anything. You got to do it in the shape. Yeah, in the shape. There's a lot of people. What do you want me to do? You're probably the one bringing everybody. Good answer. I don't know. That is bad. That is bad. Yeah. Then we'll bring in the rest of the You know what? We might get a good idea. We get them all. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. That would be awesome. Just smile, Anna. Brad. <laughs> Brad. Okay, right down the middle, can't, please. Brad, we can't shoot. Can't shoot this. This sun. Can't shoot. Everybody, take a little step to the left. Okay, yeah. Not too bad. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Everyone stay right there, just turn this way, Brad. I'll be your camera. Brad. Yeah. Yeah, they're getting shot, they're getting the best shot. Thank you. 
Carrie, one more time on your left. Carrie, Carrie, all the way. Anna, maybe the star, even if she's in the sun. No. Carrie, can we get one more down the middle here, please? Okay. 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 Yeah. All right, thank you very much. 